Childbearing and child rearing are important human activities. However, in recent years, we've seen a steady decline in fertility rates. In Australia alone, one in six couples struggle with infertility, of which about 33% are attributed by female infertility. Now, there are several reasons that contribute to infertility in women. One of the major reasons being obstruction and scarring of fallopian tubes, which prevent the descent of eggs from the tubes to the uterus. Now, one might assume it's probably due to environmental or lifestyle factors. However, that's not the case. It's actually largely caused due to a bacterial pathogen called Chlamydia trachomatis. Chlamydia trachomatis is a sexually transmitted pathogen. And although it can be easily detected and treated, the asymptomatic nature of the disease, particularly in women, causes it to go undiagnosed and untreated, resulting in long-term long complications or sequelae, often culminating in infertility. Currently, the techniques that are used to diagnose chlamydial infertility are laparoscopy and hysterosalpinography. Both these techniques are surgical techniques, so they're invasive. And also, they're prone to uh, misdiagnosis and they're very expensive. So through this project, I developed an assay that would be quick and reliable and could potentially replace these surgical techniques as a primary diagnostic for chlamydial infertility in women. So this is a serology-based assay. So all we need is patient serum. So it is practically non-invasive. It's an ELISA-based platform, so it's an essentially a plate onto which we coat peptides that are specific only to chlamydia trachomatis. And these peptides interact with antibodies from patient serum, resulting in a color change based on which we can characterize these patients as positive or negative for chlamydial infertility. If they were positive, we would advise them to seek immediate medical attention via IVF or in vitro fertilization. So far, preliminary analysis in our lab have suggested that this assay fares far superior with regards to other commercial serological kits used for chlamydial infertility. Since it's a serology-based assay, it is user-friendly, non-invasive, and cost-effective. These characteristics make this simple test open to a wide range of applications. For instance, it can be used in early infertility workup in IVF clinics. Secondly, it can be used widely, especially in third world countries where laparoscopy and hysterosalpinography are too expensive. And lastly, it can be used in large population-based screening strategies, wherein this assay could potentially detect patients with chlamydia sequelae before it progresses into infertility, and thereby reducing the overall incidence of chlamydial infertility in women, and thus significantly reducing the economic burden this disease has on healthcare sector. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.